And today's quote is entitled, You Must Fall Down. And this is from a lecture that Prabhupada gave in 1972 in Los Angeles when I was fortunate enough to be there. If you don't follow the rules and regulations, you must fall down. Sri the Prabhupada Lecture, Los Angeles, October 1972. This is a paraphrase. Basically, this is what Prabhupada said. Prabhupada often told us that our condition is like a person who has a disease. So if you follow the doctor's orders for medicine, diet, exercise, whatever the doctor asks you to do, then the disease will gradually be cured. If you stop, then you'll get a relapse. So the way Prabhupada spoke to us about our conditioning was very much like a diseased person who could easily relapse into his disease. So although he could be very healthy, if he gives up the practices that are keeping him healthy, then again the disease will come. So we should never think, oh yes, I'm strong, I don't have to follow so strictly. Prabhupada's point is, you're strong because you are following strictly. By following strictly, it keeps us in Satvaguna, at least in Satvaguna. And in Satvaguna, we won't be influenced by passion and ignorance. So sometimes we think, well, I'm doing very well in Krishna consciousness. That is the mercy of the process. But until we reach prema, we won't, it's not guaranteed that we'll stay on that level if we slacken, or what to speak, if we give up. So Prabhupada was very concerned that we would fall down because he saw so many of his disciples, not so many, but many, especially leading disciples, sometimes would fall down. Due to what? Due to, due to neglect of following the practices of Krishna consciousness. So here, we could say Prabhupada's giving us a guarantee. Just like in the CC, Prabhupada gave a guarantee. If you don't chant 16 rounds, it's in the story of Takaharitas, you won't be able to control your sexual urges. So Prabhupada is, is making it very clear that it's very, very difficult to be self-controlled. And it's by the mercy of the practices of sadhana, bhakti, and by the mercy of Guru and Gauranga that we're able to do it. If we don't access that mercy through the practices, we can't do it by our own strength. It's not possible. Eventually, we will fall. We will crash. We won't be able to do it. So that, that's Prabhupada's point. And in a sense, you could say he's trying to scare us, which I think sometimes that's healthy for us. We need to be shaken up a little bit because we could be overly confident. No, no, I'm fine. I won't fall. I don't have to be so strict. Perhaps you know that it's said that the drivers who get in the most accidents or who often get in accidents are the drivers who are most self-confident, the ones who feel like, well, I've never been in an accident, so I don't have to be so vigilant the way I'm driving. I can be a little loose, a little relaxed, a little off guard, because that's how they're used to driving. And because they've driven so long without having accidents, they become extremely confident. So yes, confidence is good, but we should be confident in the process, not confident in the fact that I don't have to follow the process and I can still be Krishna conscious. So that's through the Prabhupada's point. Hare Krishna. If you like this video, you can subscribe below. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you share this video with others, if you comment on it, if you like it, do whatever. You have to click to share it because I think a lot of devotees would appreciate getting these videos. I try to take our philosophy and put it in a practical way so we know how to apply it in daily activity. And um, this is one of the services I do and I want to reach as many devotees as possible. If you can help me, I'd appreciate it so much. Thank you.